hey welcome back to the channel i hope everyone is doing well today so we have already talked about how to create pickers in swift ui however it seems that it's in swift ui it's currently impossible to create a custom picker with multiple components okay so well here's a little work around we are going to see today how we can create this very nice feature okay with multiple components so first of all fire up your xcode and create a new xcode project okay select single view app here you're going to call it whatever you want i'm going to call it multiple pickers okay Okay, once you get there, first of all, create one state for every component of your picker for keeping track of which value of the particular section is currently selected. So here we're going to create three state values. So var our selection, okay is equal to zero at the beginning then state var minute selection okay which is also equal to zero at the beginning and lastly var second second selection okay to be equal to zero okay cool then we create the data sets for our sections okay in our example we create 23 integers for the hours and 59 integers for the minutes and seconds okay so for hours is equal to an array zero to 24 it's like that okay then var minutes is equal to an array of integer value from 0 to 60 okay and lastly bar seconds is equal to that as well cool that and that okay so now we need to create a geometry reader for knowing the overall view size okay especially we need to know the views width since we want each component of the picker to be equally wide okay so here you are going to delete the hello world text and call a geometry reader just like that and write here geometry in okay and then inside we're going to call an edge stack okay so edge stack okay then create one single picker for every component so you have to understand that here actually we have three single pickers okay so here picker this one that self dot our selection okay here empty text okay and here uh, actually like that okay then create a for each loop okay for each element so self dot hours dot count okay you have right index in here text it's like that I can hide this part for the moment so here you can write self dot 
hours okay and here we need the index okay and then here you can simply add an edge for the hours and here dot tag okay index cool so we can simply copy paste that twice okay and here I'm going to change it by the minutes okay here by the minutes as well and here minutes as well okay and here we can simply add let me check an M okay just like that and then here finally sec second selection here seconds and here seconds as well okay and here simply add an s okay so each picker component should be equally wide so take the geometry size width and divide it by the number of components okay so we are going to take this value for the width argument of the frame modifier okay so here you can write frame so the width is equal to geometry dot size dot width divided by 3 okay the height will be 100 and here the alignment will be center just like that okay and we can then simply copy paste this line twice okay it's like that and now we are going to try what do we get so press on resume and if I press on the live button we can use our multi component speaker okay and that's all you can now use the selection states for subscripting the selected values out of your data sets okay thank you very much for having watched this tutorial guys see you in the next lesson bye bye